hosts, Sean and Marianne Gauntlet. <laughs> well, hello, para peeps, and welcome to another episode of Our Haunted Travels. Let's talk paranormal live. I am your host, Sean Donnelly. I'm your co-host, Mary Ann Donnelly. Welcome, 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 everybody. It's that time. It's live at five. That's right. Right here on Panic D Videos. It's that show that we're going to do every Saturday. 5 p.m. Eastern. This is show number 25. 25. That's nuts. I can't believe 25 weeks we've been doing this. 25 in a weeks row. in a row. We have not missed one. Even That's while crazy. we were traveling. That's right. Well, something just happened to your computer. Yeah. It, it always like decides that I need to, and I'll be one of my former students who's never even seen this computer. All right. And I don't have the screens ready. So... Oh, well, that's awesome. Well, that's all right. Happy ready, Trails is here. I know that. I was t I was saying how uh, the, her, her uh, video on the cups for the cookies were awesome. Yes. We're going to talk about that here in a little bit. So, okay. Um, while we're getting ready, if everyone in chat could let us know where you are from, and that would be pretty cool. I gotta get the screen up here, and we're gonna do something a little bit different tonight, you guys. We don't really have a topic. <laughs> Polly's here. Polynesian vloggers here as well, and Michelle Polly. is here. Smear. Yankee's here. Hello, Yankee. How are you doing? If everyone in chat let us know where you are from, that would be awesome. So while you're doing that, let's talk about our show supporters, shall we? Sure, why not? All right. Would you like to do the honors? So this week we have um, Promote Horror, 12 Night Horror, Feral... Farrah... Feral Fair. Island Bud. Feral Island Bud. That's a new one. And, of course, we have our newest piece Patreon of the puzzle. Patreon supporter. John is out there. Thank you. John is out yes. there. Yes. Has he checked in? Or uh, I haven't seen him check in yet. Our very first yes. official Super Patreon supporter. Super excited about that. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So here's how you can become a supporter. There's two different ways. First of all, follow us on Twitter, at Panic Database, and that is different than our channel. That is our Twitter account. It's been around since 2010. That's why I haven't changed it. Okay, <laughs> But at Panic Database, follow us there. Like our tweets, retweet our tweets, leave a comment, whatever. If you're one of the top three, you can be a show producer. Or if you become a Patreon of ours, which the links are down below and all over the place. Marianne will probably eventually pop it in the chat. Um, of the $5 a month, you can become a show supporter. And every Saturday, we will thank you and shout you out. All right. All right. So I just like to point out that you asked where they were from, and I absolutely love Yankee's answer. Yankee says, I'm from the Mother Earth, currently right. in Ohio. That's awesome. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Northeast Ohio represented in the house, and we're covering an eastern Ohio. That's right. Yes. Is Hell Kitten here? She's I from haven't, Ohio, too. I haven't seen Hell Kitten yet. I haven't seen her yet. But, uh, yes, another Ohioan. All right. So we have uh, New Jersey. We've got... Um, Oh, Lincoln Central Coins is here. I haven't seen them in a couple of days. That's nice. Um, yes, we welcome, had welcome, uh, welcome. who did I was New Jersey. Oh, we have some other British Columbia, Cania, Canada, Cania. I don't Cania. know what I was thinking. I'm, I'm stuck on the candy. Candy. Cania? Cania? <laughs> yeah. So we uh, we have Missouri. We have Hawaii, of course. I think that's everybody who said where they were from. All right, we got All Rachel right. Roshan. All right, okay. Yeah, so, so, folks, time for before we get moving on here, just a little disclaimer: we are live. Okay, I have to say that every time because sometimes we put out a video and we record them right here. So, but this one is live. We are live, so I apologize ahead of time if I say something that's dumb because there is no editing. But Marianne will definitely, positively, one hundred percent correct me if I'm wrong. 
Yes, I will. So now's the time. If you have not subscribed to our channel yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit the like on this because that will tell YouTube, hey, there's a party starting over here at Panic D's. That's right. And if you would, you know, be so kind, share this stream out. Let's see if we can get some more people in here. And we can get rocking and rolling because uh, I want to hear from you guys today. That's right. You guys are going to get to talk you to guys, us You guys, it's going to be your show today. Yes, you're going to tell us all the things you want us to say. That's right. All right, so you want to do a little commercial and tell people who we are? So, uh, who are where you? are these, like, married people? Who are you? <laughs> uh, we have full-time jobs, but uh, we also have a Panic D database, and we do a little bit of uh, identification of history of locations, paranormal claims that they have, uh, looking at evidence that there are to support or debunk some of the claims. And uh, that's all in the database. And then Sean and I, we actually go out and travel around, go from place to place when we can, and visit some of those locations in Panic Database, which we have gone to over 200 of them now. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's where Our Haunted Travels comes in, because we then... Our, whoop, backwards, Our Haunted Travels. <laughs> because then we get to tell everybody all about the places that we've been. Our personal experiences, the location's history, the paranormal claims and whether we found anything that prove them or debunk them or and anything why like it's that. possibility that there might be some paranormal claims That's for right. that location that is our channel in a nutshell yeah, you did much. that very well thanks you helped out did i yeah oh, okay. <laughs> at least i'm good for something all righty so Ooh, i hate it when i keep hitting the wrong that. button i do i don't know why what don't you I refresh do? that because it's saying that people are waiting People are waiting. What do you mean they're waiting? Over there. It says waiting. Oh, so you don't like seeing that? No, I want to see how many people are in the chat. Okay. There we go. Now we got 21 watching. Okay, so now is the point where you can actually do the roll call. Okay. See, I like to, I like to be over, you know, 20. Oh, so we do a roll okay. call so that it's not, like, done in, like, three seconds. Oh, okay. okay. All right. All right. Okay, so if you, haven't said, if you haven't said anything in a few minutes uh, so that you haven't been timed out, go ahead and put something in there. Say hello to us, and we will shout your name out. So we have uh, Adam Warren, Big Crazy Outdoor Adventures, Happy Trails Hiking, H Casto 8 that's going to be Hannah. Uh, we have Lincoln Central Coins, Michelle Koyak, uh, Polynesian Vlogger, Rachel Rawson, Tracy at Chi Throng, uh, the last grown up Rachel in the song. woods. What's Slut that? Face. Oh, sorry. Uh, Timber Hill Red Bones and Yankee Outdoor Adventures. I know that there were a couple other people that were Andrew out there. Andrew Kitchens, the last growing in the woods. Did you say? That? I said last grown up in the woods, but I didn't have Andrew Kitchens. So hello to Andrew. Welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome. And over anybody to else who said something earlier and got timed out. Hello and welcome to you as well. If you get a chance, say something again and we will say hello. So let's talk a little bit about Parapeeps in case they haven't heard it. I saw right. Parapeeps pop up in the chat. Hashtag Parapeeps. That's right. Uh, we Parapeeps. also have, by the way, Panther Paranormal and Eliza Wendy who has joined us as well. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are new, and some of these names, they sound a little bit new to me. If you care to before the show is over and like to hit that subscribe button, please do so. If you don't, I'm sorry. And it's HSFL Paranormal has, has logged on and Cindy Lucy as well. All right. Oh, did you say HSFL Paranormal? I did. I hope that's you. John, if that's <laughs> yeah. you. I hope it's you, buddy. <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's a, that's a questionable item. I know at this he point. was going to work. So. All right, so let's talk about parapeeps. So what we, we put all of our stuff that we put out from Panic D videos with hashtag parapeeps. Mm -hmm. Everything on Twitter and YouTube and all that other stuff. And we call our subscribers parapeeps. It's not a cult. It's not a, it's nothing like that. We did, just something to have parapeeps. fun with. And I introduce all of my, my videos saying, hello, parapeeps. I don't say hello, YouTube, which we did in the beginning. We did, yes. Just in case, okay? So that's just something that we adopted, so to speak. Right, because right? just like any platform, you never know, changes can happen. That's right. However, on this very show, Let's Talk Paranormal, which we have every Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, mm -hmm. 
we give something away. That's right. We do that every week. We have a big, huge giveaway, which I'm going to talk about because, and I'll tell you why here in a minute. However, to enter to win those, you need to basically become a certified parapet. Okay, which basically you like our channel, subscribe, hit the bell, like a button, all that other stuff. Take a screenshot and email it to us at panicdvideos at gmail.com. And then if you hit us up on a Saturday and you say, oh, that's kind of cool. I want that apron. I want that travel boards. I'd like to have a t-shirt, whatever. You just send in the certificate and you don't have to re-hit that bell again and turn off notifications. Or unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> which I'm laughing about, but has happened. <laughs> you said hit the subscribe. Yes. I don't know why it's all red right now. <laughs> By the way, that is uh, the real HSFL Paranormal. Right. I have determined that it is based on the comment that said, hey, we were just on his live stream. <laughs> so I'm going to guess that okay. that what? is the real What's the HSFL Paranormal. What's the password? <laughs> All right, so once you do that, then we're going to send you out a certificate. It looks like that, but it will have your name or your channel or your Twitter or whatever you want on there. And there you go. It'll make it official. Basically, we just have record of your email and that kind of stuff. And yes. That's building up. We've got a lot of them. Yes. A lot of them. Mm -hmm. And by the way, awesome. Budget Bushcraft and Urban DePaid Taurus have joined us as well. So welcome aboard. And PSPR is here as well. PSPR. I've seen you a couple of day, a couple of times today. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we talked on Facebook yet. <laughs> I don't remember. But I'm sure we will before the day is over. Okay. Uh, budget right. Bushcraft wants to know where theirs is. Where their what is? Your certificate? Oh, if you send it in, we're probably backed up again. It happens. And then we sit down and we do a bunch of them. Well, if it's been in the last two weeks, he hasn't done any in the last two weeks that I'm aware of. Yeah. So. I get behind from we time were, to time. We were happens. caught up. We were caught up again um, right before we started getting all of the things for the big giveaway ready to go, which I will put the link for in there as well. Yeah, let's talk about the big giveaway. All right, so we said on our show all so it'll be coming. that if you guys helped us, and we kept giving you status updates, if you helped us get the 1,000 subscribers and the 4,000 watch hours, we would do a huge giveaway. That's coming up. That's coming up next Friday. We're going to go live next Friday, mm -hmm. the 21st. Mm -hmm. at 8 p.m. to do that giveaway. That's the main purpose of that live stream is to draw everybody out, okay? Mm -hmm. So here's what's in it, in that giveaway. Marianne dropped a link to a video to kind of explain this a little bit, but right. we have T-shirts, we have the drawstring bag, we have it aprons, we got a travel boards, we got stuff from Gettysburg. We have right now up to 10 items with the big one right now being a $50 Amazon card. Mm -hmm. And I said on September 2nd, from that point on, every additional 25 people that enter it, we're going to throw in another $25 Amazon gift card, up to a total of $150. We have not hit the first $25 gift card yet. Really? Still? Nope. Still. It's Still. crazy. People just don't want free stuff. That's okay. <laughs> that's perfectly fine. But anyways, that's the big giveaway. So if you haven't entered to win it, you need to do that, folks. And basically, all you got to do is either send us your certificate or take the screenshot and all the other stuff and send it on in to Panic D videos with hashtag pick me. Pick me. Pick hashtag me. Hashtag pick, pick me. Now, we have to have that email with that subject. Hashtag pick me. We have a couple of them that came in that haven't done that and put that in the subject, you need to do that. If you've already done it, it's like, oh, I don't know if I put the subject right or whatever, just do it again. Because that's what I do is I go and I search for that subject. And those are the names that I pull to put in the hopper. Okay. Don't send it to us on Twitter. Don't send it to us on Facebook. Send us that email, panicdvideos at gmail.com with hashtag pick me. <laughs> pick me for the apron. I see that. From okay, so pick me from the apron for the apron is Happy Trails, but Yankees says, Panic, you need to sponsor hashtag no nude Yankee and send me one of those t shirts. <laughs> Should I send you the t shirt or the apron? Ooh. <laughs> the apron might be better. Yeah, it might cover, you know, more. <laughs> 
Oh, dear goodness gracious. Uh, but that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, I didn't pick anything for today. Well, oh. you better go find something. <laughs> yeah, well, you put that on. Up. I'm going to jump over here and grab something. Well, I was going to talk about happy trails. Okay, uh, I'll be right, I'm right here. I'm right here. Where did it go? Oh, my goodness. Where did it oh, go? Oh, man, she lost them. Where did it go? Anyways, oh, we did a video. When was that? Thursday? There it is. Thursday video. Marianne did a recipe video. Um, a haunted history recipe video on Hershey chocolate chip cookies. I did. And at the end of the video, she was trying to make the cups to put your milk in. Yes. Yeah, so basically, supposedly, it's easy, and you just you know make them into cups, and then you you put pour melted chocolate in it, you pour it <laughs> off, and then you have a chocolate shell on the inside. You pour milk in it, drink your milk out of a cookie cup. It's yeah. great stuff. They didn't come out. No. They didn't come out. So <laughs> Kay from Happy Trails Hiking, she's in the chat right now. You can actually go check out her yes, channel. It's I hilarious. have to modify our video to put links back to I her channel. I love it. She did a video response back for that and tried the exact same thing and basically got pretty much, pretty much the, same, the same, same results. response. So there's this great mystery building up <laughs> out there on how to make these chocolate chip cups. Yeah, because you see them like on... Uh, uh, what's that? Oh, the goodness gracious. The one with all the pins, you know, you pin everything. Pinterest. Uh, Pinterest. They're all over Pinterest. All these people did all these wonderful looking cookie cups. And I'm like, how did they do that? That's so awesome. Well, Mayor and, and Kay, I'm going to tell you my theory <laughs> behind this. This is how they come up with the cookies and cream ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> They were trying to figure out these cups that had all this extra chocolate chip, and they're like, "What are we gonna do with this?" I don't know. Throw it in the ice cream. <laughs> okay. That's just my opinion. All right. Well, so, anyways, make sure you check out Kay's. Video. We just watched it literally like right before this minutes stream. right before yeah. we went live, um, and we just did an interview on HSFL Paranormal. It started at 2 p.m. Eastern time. You guys want to go check that out. That was a great time. We had an awesome time over there. We were talking about Lizzie again. Marianne was all excited. I get very excited about Lizzie. Yeah, yeah. Lizzie so, and now cookie cups. <laughs> it's actually, literally, that video is probably still processing because we just got off of that channel and did a couple little things and uh, watched Kay's video and boom, we went live. All right, so are you ready? You got something you I did. Do here? I picked something. I did. All right, folks, it's time for Mary Ann's eBay update. She spends so much on eBay, she has her own segment. <laughs> all right, it's all yours. All right, today's piece is actually one of my more expensive pieces that I purchased, but I'm not going to say how much I spent because she my won't mother. Tell me how much well, it is. my mother is going to watch this and she'll probably yell at me and say, "You wasted that much money on that." So I'm just not going to say this. This, yeah, I'll just say it, it's one of my more expensive pieces. Uh, but what I have today is a piece of the scaffolding from the hanging of the Lincoln conspirators. So those individuals who were uh, condemned to death for uh, the murder of, or the participation in the conspiracy of the murder of President Lincoln. Um, I have a piece of that scaffolding now. I have it. Okay. I'm super She's excited about this Pretty piece. excited about that. Yes, I am. All right. Let me bring <laughs> so that is my, my piece of the week. Okay, budget. If you sent me, I'm sorry. I'm just behind. I got a couple other little projects going on. Well, not little. Some are big. Some are little. Got a lot of stuff going on. All right. So next week, folks, uh, live at uh, Let's Talk Paranormal. We're going to come to you live from Hillview Manor. Yes, we are. Um, I, somewhere on the desk here is my announcements, but. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, they were here. here All they right. Are. Here they are. Okay. All right. So I don't know if uh, I think most of you guys were here uh, last night on our last last night's live stream. But if not, I was talking about how um, some of our videos are getting demonetized, and I knew that was going to happen. We were very appreciative that we actually the whole channel got monetized in the first place because we yeah. do walk the line of of the darker side. I mean, it is what it is. That's you know part of our haunted history stuff that we cover um so uh with that being said that kind of like uh, 
made up our minds on the decision to set up a Patreon page. So we do have the Patreon page. It's linked off of our channel, and there's links down in the description. If you would like to support us, we have different levels, $1, $5, $10, and the $25 level. Mm -hmm. And we got our first patron. John is out there. John is out there. Is, is John out there? I have not seen John. John is not out there He yet. is not out there yet. But I do <laughs> want to say thank you very much, John, for supporting yes. the channel. I appreciate that very much. And we also got the second Patreon that came in, too. You didn't tell that me. That I didn't tell you about. One. Because things were crazy today. Wow. And that's Andrew Kitchens. Oh, thank you, Andrew. That's right. Thank you very much for supporting the so channel. Sweet. We appreciate that. Because we know they're going to demonetize. It's not about the money. It's really not about the money yet. <laughs> yet. But in about five years, I might be fed up with work and maybe want to take early retirement. <laughs> Just saying. Okay. <laughs> oh, or I might say something stupid and lose my job. But, um, all right, so the big giveaway, we're going to say it again. The deadline to enter for that big giveaway is next Thursday, the 21st, by the way. So you have till the 21st to enter to win it. And uh, I thought it was the no. 20th. Yeah, the 20th. You get to the 20th. I can't read my handwriting. You, you get to the 20th to yeah, Thursday enter, the 20th. but we're going to give it all away on the 21st. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. All right, so we have a lot of creators that's in here. Mm -hmm. And I want to talk about something else. So we got Polynesian Vlogger, Happy Trails Hiking, Rachel Rawson. I don't know if Yankee's still here. If Yankee was in here. He was. Um, out of Body. All you guys. I'm going to be sending you over the next couple of days. Hopefully I have you on Twitter. If not, please follow us on Twitter. It's at Panic Database. It's going to pop up eventually somewhere above <laughs> my head. Uh, please follow me because I want to send you a direct message um, about our Halloween party. PSPR, uh, you already know about it, bud, but I'm going to send you some stuff. Uh, Joy Stewart, all you guys that are creators that create videos, um, Polynesia Vlogger, definitely want you to be a part of this. I think we talked about this before, too. It's about the Halloween party collab, mystery, that kind yes. of stuff. Uh, we have all of that together, the beginning part about reaching out for the collab for you guys. Mm -hmm. um, that's coming out in the next, I'm going to start sending them out tonight. Okay. And we have some people who's already sent emails and said they want to participate. It's going to be a blast. Um, basically, we are going to put on a mystery, not a murder mystery dinner, a mystery on YouTube as a collab. And we're going to let our creators are going to be part of the actors, basically. And then people go watch their videos. That's right. And then when we go live Halloween night for our Halloween party, yes. we're going to reveal enough for grabs is two $25 gift cards and some vials of gold, which we need to get those and show them what the vials of gold are. I could do that. Oh, she could do that. She knows right where they're at. Of course, she's the woman of the house. Knows where everything is. But basically, that's going to start rolling because we have time to get stuff together and, and get everybody together and um very simple just need you to make a, a short three to five three to five minute video and we're going to tell you what you need to put in the video and uh, put them all together and then we're going to use our marketing and our resources of all the people that's attended our uh, murder mystery dinners which is close to 10,000 facebook fans and people that we know to drive them to youtube and to your channels so gonna be gonna be fun it's gonna be fun coming. she's coming I'm hold coming. on she's coming i'm coming where were those at they're in that room right oh right of course there. they were there you go so these are the actual vows of gold yes so two of those are going out to oh winter. you know i think we could give away more than two two should we make it five Give away some, some huh? Why do we have vows of gold? Because I that nobody's asked in the chat. Oh, because I <laughs> because I do a different thing uh, for our park, uh, yeah. which is a uh, a little history type mystery. Hello, Gemma. Uh, How are you? Thanks for stopping by, sweetie. Gemma, the Gemma yes. the uh -huh. okay. Um, that we do for our park. Uh, where it's kind of a yeah, uh, we put on a treasure hunt. Treasure hunt, yes. That's part so of it. These get. are some parts of the 
treasure hunt. But anyways, we're going to uh, utilize some of those pieces for that. So yeah, it's going to be pretty neat and uh, you know, we, we've been asked, but oh, what are you guys doing for Halloween? So it's going to be pretty cool. Now we're also going to be hosting the uh, B-roll Smackdown uh, for, for Michael, Michael Fair. while he's traveling. I told him we would take care of that. Not a problem. How are we going to do this? You might ask. How are we going to pull all this off? Well, here's what we're going to do. For the month of October, we are postponing our location episodes. Um, we're just going to put them on hold for the month. We just wrapped up Lizzie Borden and did Hershey. We're going to do another location, which I don't know next know. week yet. I haven't picked one. But then we're going to then we're going to do Hillview mm -hmm. after Hillview because I want to go out and get footage and, and do Hillview right. Um, we might m might end up doing two weeks at Hillview. I don't know. There's a lot no, of stuff. There's a there. lot of things at Hillview, okay. but and then we're going to put locations on hold until the first part of November. Mm -hmm. Now we're traveling. We got a travel week in November where we're going out to San Diego, okay. But the first part of November is also the anniversary of the Gettysburg Address. Yes. So we have November a 19th. very cool video planned for that. Uh, very cool, and I want that to be out there. I want you guys to enjoy that video so we're just going to slow down a little bit give me some time actually to get caught up but on our channel in october we're going to be with this mystery leading up to it we're going to put out little skit videos of little clues and stuff like that and that's what we're going to use to get the public in so dropping little clues now here's the thing too about this mystery even if you are a creator and take part in it you can also Participate, participate as in a the thing because basically you have to solve a clue from watching everyone's videos. Right, and we and all watch each yeah, other's videos anyway, right? No creator is actually the suspect or anything like that. We're right. actually looking for somebody. So right. you can actually take part in it too and see if you can figure it out and, mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. All right. Hey, that's all I have for today's show. <laughs> so so happy let's trails, go to chat. Happy Trails Hiking says that we should, or that she and I should uh, make cookie cups for the B-roll winners. <laughs> for, there you go. For that. Uh, if you guys can figure out how to do it. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to like work on this. <laughs> um, and let's see, Laura Grimelt is here. Uh, she wants to know if we're coming to Kanye and and I think we're not coming to Conneaut. Laura, dear, we're not coming to Conneaut, and I didn't respond because, because we're going to San Diego. Yes, we're I think going that's to. The first it's, weekend. I think it's um like just a couple days or the or the weekend right before it, and we're gonna be getting Mrs. Donnelly enough things to get ready for yeah. missing a whole week of school. Yeah, she's got so you know being that she teaches the the biology and the forensics. She's got a lot of prep work because we're going to be you're going to be out for almost a week i'm going right? to be out five, five days five school days so she's got to keep them kids busy oh thank you budget cut, bushcraft you didn't have to do that oh thank you but budget yes, bushcraft. let's say indiana so there's gold panning and haunted places indiana we'll be head, we've been to illinois head. indiana borders up yeah Ohio. yeah we're gonna have to go up come That's out right. there and get with you oh yeah he did a meet up and collab with um Yankee. Yeah, we gotta come out there. You guys aren't that far. It's just on the other side of the state. Yes. Next summer. Well, yeah. Spring maybe. I'm starting to feel better. Yeah. Finally. Finally. Uh you, but you were saying something and I wanted I to thank I wanted to thank off. Budget Bushcraft while I saw it. Um but making we were oh, talking about making the cups. I wanna see you guys pull it off. Because oh. then I wanna taste them. <laughs> I am bound and determined to figure Which, it out. Which, by the way, Kay, I got gypped last night. I'm sorry. She said, when we get off to this live stream... It I, was late. Because she had... You had how many come out? Like three or four of those six. cups? Six. Six work? Six. She said, after dinner, you can have one of those chocolate chip cups with chocolate ice cream in it. And I'm like, oh... I know, but it was went, late, oh. and I'm like, no, we and don't. And then, do that. so we had dinner, and I'm sitting there working on my projects and everything, and like I look over, <laughs> I and was she's like, up. <laughs> so I got gypped. Maybe tonight. You did. I think maybe tonight. 
Maybe. That is a possibility tonight. We'll see. I, I can almost guarantee it tonight. Almost. <laughs> Kay says she's trying again. I, I am bound to try I'm going to figure it out, too. I'm going to have to uh, go out to those Pinterest uh, pictures and see if uh, they lead, you know, how sometimes you can click on those and they take you to a recipe and see how different the recipe is. There's got to be something that they're doing different, something they're leaving out or something else they're adding in. Uh, because it, it definitely looks much better on theirs. <laughs> because what's even cuter is, like, you don't just have that and put the chocolate inside and put milk in it, but you also break a pretzel, and you put a little bit of chocolate on the side, and you make it look like a mug. It's super cute. i got to make them work. Yes, Laura, we do have to get together about the, the, the um, barn. I can't say that word. Say yes, uh, I'm, where are we at? Yes, Barnhazel. Yes, definitely, definitely. I, I'm not putting you off seriously. I've have I have some projects that we were, burp, yeah. But I'm getting caught up. Yeah. Finally, ready to open school. Finally. Finally. It's only like four and a half weeks in, but <laughs> finally. Uh, but yeah, we're all we're all. How long have that. you guys been doing this, Cindy Lou? Um. If you mean the live stream, it's been a half hour. But if you mean our, <laughs> so if bad. you mean the channel, our channel has been around since 2010. But we didn't start working the channel and and making the videos and doing our haunted travels and that kind of stuff until November 2017. So we have a one year anniversary coming up in November, and I think it was the end of November. I think it was November 25th. No, no that's it was before it was before that because it was, it was before during Thanksgiving. it was literally during my biology conference last year in St. Louis. Which I think was a week or two weeks before Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. I think it was a weekend before Thanksgiving. We started doing this in a hotel room in St. Louis. That's right. We recorded our first video and it was an hour and a half long. Yeah. It was crazy. An hour and a half. It should have like been broken get, up into multiple we, videos. But. We're doing better. Some of them are get they're kind of long, but we're down the, you know, I think the longest we had is like twenty three minutes. Since you know, then. twelve, fifteen. We're we're working on it to kind of cram it down. But the the first one we did, I'm like, there's no way nobody's gonna watch this, and that was a video on a live stream. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. we just sat in there, and the first it's still we out there. I left it out there. Better, I think I right? left it. I think I left it out there on a the channel. We're just sitting there like, eh. yeah. So um, let's see here. Happy Trails. Uh, okay. She says that uh, she's trying again. And uh, Polly said, Polynesian Vlogger says that um, it turned out that way pretty much because you wouldn't share your cookies, Sean. Uh, and then Andrew Kitchen says he's going to volunteer to be our taste tester. I love you, bud, but I'm not sharing my cookies. <laughs> Uh, let's see. <laughs> I'll have her make a double batch and then we can have them together. There, there you go. I'm not giving uh, Happy cookies. Trails also says that her cookies. sister has been doing some my. research. So hopefully that'll work out. There's, Timber there's Hill a... Red Bones wants to know what type of flour we're using. I actually use gold metal, gold metal all purpose flour. Does do you think that the flour has something to do with it, Timber Hill? Um, and let's see what else here. Uh, I wonder if I could show this screen. Is uh, Budget Bookcraft just said where they collabed? Okay. Was around Defiance, Ohio. Okay. Let's see. Main oh, computer screen. All right, Budget Bookcraft Yankee, if you're still here, here's how far that's or not far, how close you are. We're right here, home, right there. <laughs> That's where you collab. Three hours and 14 minutes. That's how close. We're not that far. Not that far. Actually, we're going to... Cleveland. That's where we're flying out of all the time. Cleveland. Mm -hmm. So It's not that far. Someday, Budget. We're coming out there. We're going to come out there and have some fun. All right, well, Out of Body has to go, but they're very excited about October. They can't wait. Out of Body, I do believe that we're hooked up on Twitter. I'm going to send you the thing, and you can watch the... We made a video kind of explaining it in a little bit more detail, and we're going to, we're going to put it out. 
uh, unlisted, so you guys can watch it, make a decision, and tell you what to do. There's like a little form to register that you're going to be a collaborator. What do we call that? Creator. Uh, creator. creator. Collaborator. You know, it's it's coming out. It's we were working on it last night. Yes. Yeah. So I'll send it to you. Definitely going to be fun. And thanks for stopping in. Thank you. Yes. <clears throat> and Happy Trails Hiking is using gold metal flower also. Um, there you go, PSPRC. Just come down, buddy, and pick me up, and we'll head out there. There you go. We'll go looking for haunted stuff out in the woods. Yeah, e wow. so everybody wants to try those cups. So I think uh, I think we should, maybe we should incorporate that into our Halloween thing, too. If anybody figures out the cups, <laughs> they get a vial of gold. <laughs> no. <laughs> The first person to figure out the cup successfully <laughs> gets a vial of gold. Nine hours. <clears throat> oh, that's big crazy. PSPR. Uh, that's about the same distance. Polynesian Vlogger says to go pick him up, too. And uh, I would Polynesian be the one Vlogger, to come and I pick you up because I want to come there so bad. Did you catch me that one time in, the, in, the, in that live stream? I think it was ATGH Travels. I don't know. Or maybe it was Pusha. I don't know what it was. Where I said where I put the big island hawaii to us and it actually in google maps showed the curvature of the earth <laughs> and it says too far to calculate the distance did it really <laughs> yes, it did. no way so i wanted to see like how many miles yeah we were apart <laughs> i'm like oh man you broke yeah. google <laughs> yeah but we need a boat that's a long flight that would be it. I don't know. It is. Usually, uh, if someone is going to go to Hawaii from where we are, they, they fly out to California. Yeah, and he they said pick it was it like up five there. hours from California. Yeah. But just that whole time of, ugh. Yeah. Woof, just yeah. the thought of it. Well, this flight coming up to San Diego, woof. Well, we're, we're stopping over in Houston. Yes, I think it's Houston. Which uh, is and then bad when luck we come for us. back, but when we come back, we're, our layover is in Chicago, which Great. is much That's nicer. when we have problems is coming home. <laughs> On the but way Chicago home. But Chicago's better. Yes. We we haven't had trouble in Chicago. No, We've no, had, we had trouble. trouble going to Houston. We've had trouble Houston. Hopefully the weather will Yes, yeah, so wish us well. <laughs> uh let's see here what else. Um Budget Bush Crash. I will be part so of So you're going to Lexington. Oh, that's kind of cool. On the 30th. Wow. Okay, so Budget Bushcraft is going to be part of Michael's uh, big backpacking adventure that's coming up in Kentucky. That's awesome. No, that's Michael's trip where he's yeah. up in Lexington. Yeah, that he's going to oh, backpacking, backpacking with, with, no, with backpacking Jason. Jason's the name of the channel. Demonic Wombat, Who's Your Back, Clint Moore, and Michael and him are all going to be part of that. So I think adventure. what we ought to do, I mean, everybody else, you know, everybody, you know, that's in here, except for a Polynesian vlogger. I think we ought to just all go together and rent a cruise ship yeah. to go see Polynesian vlogger. How fun would that, that would be, be? That would be an awesome cruise. You know, they do those kinds of things, like Ellen and yeah. uh, different kinds of groups get together and, and do those. We all meet up in, in uh, California, awesome. San Diego, rent a cruise ship. And go out and see Polly. That would that be, would be so that would be awesome. Epic. That's what we, you know. What if our channel gets huge? We're making all kinds of YouTube money. We'll take care of it. <laughs> Just get to California, because I there's no way I can afford everybody's airfare. No, I. Yeah. <laughs> That's just way too much. <laughs> yeah, but some someday that would be really cool to that do, though. Fun. That would be yeah. an awesome one because when you have a lot in common with people on on the on the ship, it, it's a lot more fun too. I mean, oh, it would go, they're fun to it, begin it would, with. That but, that whole cruise would just go in a heartbeat because yeah. you'd just be sitting around talking the whole time. They'd be, come on, folks, it's time to go for a show. Leave us alone. <laughs> yeah, we're They'll talking like, about a collab here. Would you like to take a shore excursion? <laughs> no. We're making a live video. Go away. Leave us alone. There we go. Budget Bootstrap <laughs> says we should get Ellen the sponsor. That's right. She's got all kinds of money go. she gives away all the time. There we go. Let's uh, just take Harvey. <laughs> I, I, I've been kicking around the idea with Andrew Kitchens that, that I'll throw him some money to make Harvey <laughs> um, amphibious. <laughs> we could fit eight in there. It does sleep eight is what they say. I don't know where you would put all eight, but it says know. you sleep eight. 
it I you know we have one bed <laughs> and then there's that one little one that the table turns into and then the couch but that still doesn't make eight to me but whatever they do have those amphibious motor homes they do yeah that would just freak me out though be worried about driving in there make sure you don't have a leak oh Polly Polly says heck I'll bring you guys down <laughs> oh okay. there we go oh yeah Boris and don't forget come. Boris yeah yeah, we'll have to bring Actually, him. Boris won't, probably won't let us forget him. <laughs> but, hey, Boris is turned. How did Boris get turned like that? I don't know. Boris, where are you going, buddy? Boris got turned. I think I might have bumped him when I slipped by you earlier. Okay. All right, there. Got to fix Boris. <laughs> So, what do you guys want to talk about? Do you have any paranormal questions? Do you have any questions of us? Any questions of yourself? What would you guys like to talk about? We won't go real long tonight. Maybe about an hour or so. But, yeah. uh, well, welcome, Spoiled Brat. Interesting name choice. I feel bad calling you that. Uh, but welcome. Uh, it says it's the first time that they're here. They are a new subscriber and they are glad to be here so thank you very much there we go see andrew kitchens has it figured out a, a thousand cans of spray foam <laughs> <laughs> oh my that would work <laughs> tracy says slumber party at polynesian vloggers house um nihongo uh, Johnny, I always have trouble pronouncing your name. I apologize again. Um, would you ever go to places abroad? I've been to places abroad. Um, right now the panic database is set up for the United States, but I'm sure that if we went abroad, you could, uh, change things. Um, we don't have any things saying we don't want to. Yeah. The only thing that we've gone abroad as a couple together has been the Caribbean mm -hmm. um, the, the non US yeah um, areas that's really it we haven't even gone up into Canada and we have passports we could use them mm -hmm. um, but it's <laughs> just we have fun tracking around here yeah I don't know would we go abroad It'd be fun see I'm always worried about getting back home <laughs> Because we always have bad luck getting back home. I could tell you folks traveling stories that will curl your toenails. And, and usually I buy some really weird things. Yeah. And yeah. I'm always shipping stuff home just right here in the United States. <laughs> yeah. Uh, was a student assistant in high school for biology and biology. I remember him telling yeah. us that. Yeah. <clears throat> Budget Bushcraft worked for his uh, biology department. Did the uh, stuff for dissection. When you were in St. Louis, did you go to Lent Mansion? Yes, we did. That's one of the locations. It's mm -hmm. in the in the queue. I don't know when it's going to come out, but we actually did a... <laughs> There's a little funny story about Lent Mansion. First of all, have you been there? be interested to know but uh secondly when we were in st louis marianne's conference was going on there was another conference that was going yes. on at the same time yes you probably know what i'm talking about but let's just say it's a big rel religious convention mm -hmm. okay when we were there so i called for a taxi because we had tickets to go on a ghost hunt at limp mansion i think it was like 8 30. Mm -hmm. we were supposed to be there at 8 30. and they said if you're not there by 8 45 forget it you lost your ticket price they're shutting the doors you can't get in that kind of thing so i called and made arrangements at eight o'clock to be picked up for a taxi to be picked up at eight o'clock that'd be picked up because limp mansion from the hotel where we were at wasn't that it was far. like five was, minutes yeah so I thought we'd get the there most. early, kind of go in, the, the place was still open, that kind of thing, kind of look around, do some outside pictures, that kind of thing. And um, 8.05 comes, no taxi, nobody there. So I go in the concierge of the hotel, and I'm like, dude, I requested a taxi, whatever. And he goes, well, here, 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 call these people to our car service and, and that kind of thing. So I called them on the phone, oh, yeah, we'll be right over. 
I'm like, okay. So, you know, 8.15, no car. Marianne's starting to get nervous because she wants to go to Lemp Mansion. I wanted to go to Lemp Mansion, too. And we were running out of time. Like, this was the last night that we could do it, right? It was right. something like that. It was like either we it was the only It was the only night that they were going to have that hunt, so we were going to be able to go to yeah, the hunt. Yeah, so if we missed out, then yeah. we went all the way to St. Louis and couldn't go to the Lemp Mansion. Yeah. Turns out that they have a restaurant there, so we could have gone anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so... The problem was, finally I made some phone calls on my cell phone. I'm like, dude, just give me those cards and they, just leave me alone for about five minutes. And I called around, and here, all the taxi services and the car services were running a courtesy service that night, escorting people to this religious conference. And mm-hmm. I'm like, I need a car. I need somebody to we get We need the a car mentioned. to go ghost hunting. Yeah, Come on. Here it is, 8.25. <laughs> we have five minutes to get to this place, where I think it was like seven minutes to get there. You know, so I, and nobody's answering that limp mansion. I'm calling, I'm saying, we're trying to get there, we're mm-hmm. trying to get there, we're trying to get there. Yeah. So finally I got a taxi service that flew in, got us, you know, picked us up, took us there. And I'm like, dude, there is a huge tip in this for you. If, if you, you come, come back, back later. and pick this up. <laughs> and uh, I took care of that taxi driver. Uh, definitely, but we almost missed getting to the lamp mansion. Yeah. But we did get in. But there. we did get in. Got yeah. some cool stuff yeah. there too. So. I went to the door and I'm like, "Are you gonna let me in?" Because yeah. we were late. Yeah, we did miss, we miss the, the introduction, we introduction part of it, like the story. Yeah. But we knew the history, and and then we spent some time afterwards. Some uh, bought some books and DVDs and that kind of stuff. So yeah. it's in the queue to do the lamp lamp mansion. Yeah, did she so. say she's been there? Uh, who was it that Kay asked from that Happy one? Trails. Um, I don't think she responded. Tracy did. Tracy said that she hasn't been there, but she wants to. Um, but I didn't notice. Oh no, I have not. I'm a scaredy cat. Was her response for that? So um, neither one of them, Tracy nor Happy Trails, has. You can been actually there. go there. You know they yeah, have a restaurant they, they and a bar. Food. You know yeah. that kind of thing. So you go there for dinner. Mm-hmm. I don't know. If I don't know if I would stay there. I don't know. Well, they well, went the you rent do the have the you upstairs. do have the ability to, to stay there if you want so. Yeah. So why why do you say that? Just because of the creepy stuff that they have there. Okay. You know, and I've said this before. Not that I'm afraid. It's just when I go to sleep, don't mess with me. Let me sleep because it's hard for me to get to sleep anyways. And something messing with me all night, I'm not going to get any sleep. And then the whole next day is shot because you just got to deal with grumpy Sean. No, but see, right. for me, the whole next day, I'm in the conference. You can sleep all day, and, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. no, you'll be less grumpy no. when so I I don't know come if I'd back. want to stay there. It's, it was just, there. talk about places where you get a creep vibe. That definitely was one of them. There was something going on upstairs. And there, there's a room that they have upstairs that they sealed that they don't go in. Right. They don't go in that room. Right. And... Yeah, we were getting some readings off of that door of that room that were, like, weird. Mm-hmm. So, um, so Happy Trail says it's not in a great part of town either. You, and it, it was an interesting thing because the driver who finally took us is like, I have never been yeah, here. I've never been down I've, here Like, before. I've never been over here. And I'm like, oh, yeah, it's okay. It's not in the best part of town. Yeah. yeah. So there was a couple questions um, that we had from Spoiled Brat. Um, said, uh, how long have you both been doing this? What's your craziest encounter? So um, I thought we could answer that. And by the way, right after that, just so I don't lose it uh, in the stream, Timber Hill Redbone said, Ghostbuster van. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, how long have we been doing it? Well, okay, so we are educators, uh, work in education. I, I teach adult ed, but I'm basically the administration administrator of technology for the school district Mm -hmm. that we work at. Marianne's a... a, Biology and forensic science. Right. And um, so we're like the farthest from anybody you would think of that... I'm not saying that people in the paranormal field aren't educated. It's just a lot of of people who are educated are not open-minded. Okay? They're like, no, that's not true. Are you serious? You know, that kind of thing. Um... The way we got into it is actually, it's kind of interesting story. Um, In 2006, when we got married, one of the things that we did, well, we started our adventures, basically, together. We like going on these trips. We like going to museums. We like going to historical places, things like that. Um, 
might sound a little corny, but we're not one of those couples that just goes and sits on a beach and that's vacation. You know, yeah. we want to go and we want to dig around and be places where I historical like doing events happen. So, I like doing so much that when we come home, we need a vacation from yeah, our vacation. Yeah, literally, when we get home from some of these trips, we just sleep for a day, you know, from vacation. But in 2006, we took an 18-day road trip. We started here in Northeast Ohio, and we shot over to the coast. Uh, our first stop was um, uh, Virginia. What's the name of the town? I forget. Um, it, it was where George Washington's was born where the uh, help me. Fredericksburg Fredericksburg Virginia that was our first sorry. stop sorry I was reading <clears throat> good yeah so we spent some time in Fredericksburg and, the, and that kind of stuff and then we drove out to Kitty Hawk and then down the coast of the United States our goal during our honeymoon was to see how many lighthouses we could find and and if you see like some of the her cooking videos and stuff there's a lot of lighthouse stuff around our our house because our main corporate logo for dns technology is a lighthouse and i've just always been in the lighthouses and stuff um and it wasn't the paranormal part it was just that i was intrigued with it um so we made our way and one of the stops that we went to was saint augustine because there's a lighthouse there and um uh, Went all the way down to Sanibel Island and then came back up through the uh, through uh, Tennessee and stuff. Went to Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge and all the way back up through Ohio. Okay, so that was our honeymoon. It was 18 days, right, mm -hmm. all together. Mm -hmm. In 2010, we went back to Florida. And we loved St. Augustine because the history of St. Augustine is just amazing. And we said we wanted to go back. Well, when we were there during our honeymoon, we did all the day tours and all that other kind of stuff. And this time, Marianne said, hey, you can go to the lighthouse at night. They have a night tour. And I'm like, oh, well, that's kind of interesting. Why, why would you go at night? Mm -hmm. Oh, they're doing some sort of ghost hunting thing. And I'm like, well, whatever. We'll get to see the lighthouse at night. It'd right. be different. <clears throat> so we booked um, the lighthouse. Uh, uh, what was that? Bark at the moon or dark at the moon or something like that and went on this ghost hunt that we really didn't know what we were doing and, but they they started telling these stories and that's when i really kind of got hooked i'm like wow this is interesting history that you don't hear on the day tour mm -hmm. you know they don't tell the straights this right <laughs> you know i'm like wow really it, you know and all this other stuff and i passed up on on renting a k2 meter they're like, here, this will detect ghosts. I'm like, you got enough of my money. You know, we're not going to do that. Um, but here, you know, St. Augustine Lighthouse is one of the most haunted lighthouses in the United States. Dummy. But anyways, so we did that. And then the following night, I think it was the following night or a couple nights, whatever, on that trip over there, Marion says, hey, they have a ghost tour of the town. You can walk around town and go to the fort. Spanish and military all this other hospital. Stuff. Yeah. So we did that. And then the, the tour guide there was kind of like telling us about the, you know, how to take the, the whoop, I hit the mic, how to take the, the photos and, and things like that. Mm -hmm. And that's when we caught the, um, the anomaly yes, at the, the Spanish military hospital. The orb type anomaly. Yeah. And I said after that tour, I'm showing them this on the recorder that we had. And he goes, yeah, you got something there. It's kind of interesting. Uh, can't explain what's going on. And I said, what is the most haunted location here in St. Augustine? And he said, well, Talamano Cemetery. It's right down there. I don't even go by there. And, well, hey, that's where we're going. That's how we're walking back to our bed and breakfast. And we went past the Talamano Cemetery, and we stopped there, and we recorded with our camera. And that's where we caught our first EVP. Mm -hmm. And then on the way back, we went down Avales Street, street mm -hmm. and we got orbs following us down the street and all that stuff, which basically everything that I just told you guys about, some of the other locations, like the Casa de San, San Marcos, Marcos. Mm -hmm. um, the story of that, and the story of the bed and breakfast that we stayed at, the Bayfront Marion, and Avales Street, all those different locations will eventually come out on our channel. We did the city gates and stuff like that but all of that is in our first book that's that you can get 
And Tracy got one. She won she one. She did, yeah. She was very uh, excited, too. Tracy, what did you think about the book? And be honest. What did you think? Was it good, boring, whatever? But it tells our story, and it tells the locations of St. Augustine because that's where it started. So, yeah, our book. You can get this on Amazon. There's a link down in the thing. But uh, St. Augustine, that's how it started, and that's where it started for us. And that's, we've been going ever since. That was 2010. Yes. And since then, we've been to over 200 different locations. Marion has a coloring book, too, that's available. This is a haunted coloring book. It's based off of photographs that we've taken. What's in this? We've got the Dobbin House. That's from Gettysburg. We've mm -hmm. got uh, the St. Augustine Lighthouse in this one. Um, it's on the cover, but I don't know if it's in there. I think that's the only one in here that's not. You, you okay. made the I cover. Just, I just put it on there. The um. White House. But these are all Betsy our. Ross's house. These are all our photographs. And then I the turn, and then I turn them into coloring book page on the other yeah. side. So, anyway, so you know, coloring books are, were a thing, you know. So that's our story. That's how we get into it. I know that was long and drawn out, but hey, you asked. <laughs> uh, Tracy said yes. I love the book. Oh. So you want to know the name of the book? So it's um. Our Haunted Travels, St. Augustine, Volume 1, by Sean and Marianne Donnelly. And then uh, Our Haunted Travels Coloring Book, Volume 1, by Marianne and Sean Donnelly. Yeah, links we to these. kind of flopped our names on Links these. to these are down in the description of the video. And actually, are every they? video. Yeah, every video we put we'll up look links you. to these. Um, but you can buy them off of Amazon. Okay. Yeah. So this winter, I'm going to be working on volume two. Don't know what's going to be in it yet, but uh, the book's laid out the way we do our videos. And if you've ever caught like the format of how we're doing the videos, on Tuesday, we talk about the ghost stories and folklore. That's Boris, does those mm -hmm. videos. And then we have something in the middle, you know, that's kind of like a little bit, you know, fun or additional information. And then on Friday, we do what's called a location video. And that talks about the history. It talks about our personal experiences and why we think it's haunted. The book is laid out exactly like that. It talks about the history, the paranormal claims, the potential of haunting, and our personal experiences there. Plus, we also feature uh, our photos. Mm -hmm. So Tracy said, yes, she loved the book. So thank you, Tracy. Uh, and uh, Timber Hills wanted to see the coloring book, but we've already shown that off. Uh, Polynesian vlogger. Ooh, I'm getting one. Just want to ask where I can. I need it. a Panic D videos calendar, so make one. You know what? We might Ooh, do that. That'd be a nice. We idea. actually we used have, to produce yes. with one of our companies a photo calendar, so we have software. We have software that that'll do it. Do that. Yeah. We could. You know what would be kind of cool is to do a Parapeeps community calendar and then have in there where everyone's birthday. That would be dates, super cute. Because that software will do that. We yes. put dates in there. Maybe That'd we'll awesome. work on that. That'd be awesome. I like that idea. we got to write this idea down. You know what we should this? do for that calendar? We should pick a charity as a fundraiser for there that calendar. There you go. There you go. That's awesome. I like that idea. And then we could put the, the haunted locations and have dates of everyone's birthday. That would be kind of cool. All the pair of peeps. All right. See, I kind of like this, See? where we just, like, talk to you guys. I didn't have to spend hours getting ready for the show. Let's see. I don't know how to do any of this. Please. Oh, thanks. Happy Trail says they have to go. Um, so thank you very much for, for playing with the uh, cups with me. And uh, love the video. Thank you very much. It's nice to have you around. I enjoy it. So thanks a lot. Yeah, we'll send you the link about the mystery here. Mm -hmm. What do we can see? I don't know how to do any of that. Please, uh, went up. Please get a pen and paper. Oh, are they talking to each other? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, that's a great idea. Let's talk to you. <laughs> Uh, our home show. The library scene in Ghostbusters was based on the Willard Library in Evansville, Indiana, says Budget Bushcraft. So there's a, actually a, 
truth behind that paranormal claim? You know, Dan Aykroyd is is a true, really true believer in the paranormal. I don't know if you guys knew that or not. Which, by the way, Dan, if you would like to sponsor a YouTube channel, you can always get a hold of me on Twitter. I'll be willing to sit down with you and have a cup of coffee and talk. <laughs> She's not listening to no, me. No, I'm sorry. I was responding to if somebody asked a question. I know. Uh, let's see here. Uh, actually, I, need a uh, I think the calendar idea is a good idea. I like that. Especially with the, everybody's birthday on it. Oh, I'm trying to read faster. I really should have put my glasses on because I'm going to get a headache. <laughs> <laughs> so what was the craziest encounter? We missed that part. of Oh, the, the craziest thing. encounter. Yes. The craziest encounter. I don't know. Maybe we, that should that place should be in our volume two. The craziest encounter. It's a lot of people say, well, what's the scariest place you've been to? Or what's the, you know, all that other stuff they want to know. Whatever. The craziest place that we've been to is when we took a group of 50 people to Mansfield Prison. And I've said this a couple of times. So if, I, if you've heard this story before, you know, go take a potty break or something like that. Get some <laughs> new drink. But um, we have another website and another group of production company. It's actually called Dark Shadow Ghost Tours. And... Dark Shadow Ghost Tours puts on the murder mystery dinners and, and w at one time was taking people to these haunted locations and showing them how to do paranormal ghost hunting, basically. It was a big thing. People were really into it, especially when the ghost shows were hopping. We were busy. We mm -hmm. were very busy. Yeah. We had one time where we put on a murder mystery dinner. Every month. Every month we put one on. That's crazy. And it takes weeks if not longer to put those things together and those are attended by i always say 250 people but we've had some almost 300 people it's almost like you rent a hall okay <clears throat> for a wedding with all the people there and then we put on a big show all right so we got into the point where we were writing them we were we were auditioning the actors we directed them we have our own sound system. I mean, it got huge. So, um, one of the trips that we did, we, we used to rent, um, like tour buses and people would come and they, you know, for the ticket price, they got admission into the place to go ghost hunting. Um, we have cases of equipment. We let people borrow. We teach them how to do the digital photography and use the equipment. They got a t-shirt. We fed them twice, mm -hmm. especially if it was all night. Um, so we took a, a 50 passenger bus. It was full with 50 people from here to Mansfield, which is about three and a half hours. We played games on the bus on the way there and all kinds of stuff. Well, part of our marketing would be we gave away tickets or we would go to different shows and there's things that they do around here. I don't know if you guys ever heard of this called quarter auctions. We would do that and give away tickets for a quarter, you know, all kinds of stuff like that. And um, the Mansfield trip... We took a couple, an older couple went with us, and they had never been to go something before. They won the tickets. Mm -hmm. What? So if I do, if I do this, that's not going to take them completely out, right? Uh, she she asked might. if I could take that off, like afterwards. Uh, I just wanted to make sure I'm not going to like remove her. Hide user on this channel. Mm. If this kicks you out, oh no, she did oh, it herself. Okay, okay, thank you. I Sorry. was worried. I was worried about deleting you from the whole. Yeah, channel. we don't want to kick you completely out. So, anyways, um, get back to the story. This couple uh, was out. We were out in the cell blocks of um, Mansfield. Mary Ann had the group. I was actually dealing with something weird that that month <laughs> with weird pains, and um, I was taking a break. And Marianne took the group up on cell block, like the third level. Mm -hmm. And the the lady felt somebody grab her and pull her into one of the cells. Well, <clears throat> if that happened to one of us, Marianne would be like, 
really? Awesome. I know. Do it again. Do it again. And I would be like, <laughs> do, 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 you know, that kind of thing. Because we're kind of used to it. That's what we go yeah. out looking for is those kind of experiences. This poor lady had no idea what she was getting into. They just know they won free tickets and they're going to go on a ghost hunt. So she freaked out. Now, the cell block is up the level three freestanding cell blocks. You right. know, like if you would go running out of a cell, you would go flying over the thing. The railing, down, yeah. down the railing. She's screaming. She's freaking out. She's frozen. Mary Ann can't get her down. And I just, at the same time this happened, I saw something come off that cell block and dart off. So what they call a shadow figure. And I'm walking like, what's going on? You know, that kind of thing. And I shine the flashlight up there. Marion's like, you got to get up here and help me. You know, and I think, or maybe about, maybe what, 12 people in the group? Mm -hmm. They're all trying to help her. She's just frozen, like yeah. shaking. Yeah, and she's like not moving. <clears throat> so as the producer or the provider or the organizer of this, that was the scariest moment that we've ever experienced mm -hmm. because now we're in a situation where we got to take care of this lady. Mm -hmm. we got other people that, you know, we're supposed to be putting on this event for. And we have to get her down off of this thing so she doesn't get hurt. That was the scariest yeah. part. Yeah. It wasn't the spirits or the ghosts because we were being yeah. like, woohoo. That's what you we know? were there for. It was that she she was uh, she was having a bad time. And actually, she ended up in the hospital like a week later with heart issues. But once we got her down, Marianne went outside with yeah. her. And she smoked like a pack of cigarettes she did. trying to calm yeah. down. She it was freaked just her out. And, for like a half an you hour know, straight. It's not like... I've told this story like several times before and then I got comments like why do you put people in that situation and do stuff like that well you know before it started we told them we're doing protection prayers we're going to warn them stuff could happen and it was one of those things where they were like yeah okay whatever you know well this is a haunted prison <laughs> you know it was like that's one of the most most decorated haunted places prisons. Yeah. you know the Mansfield Ohio State Reformatory and you know they just didn't take our warning and thought it was funny and whatever. But that, no, she's definitely a believer. Yeah. So, yeah. She is okay now, by the way. There we, there <laughs> we go again. A long, drawn-out process answering your question. Anybody have any other questions? I will try to be shorter. Is everyone just talking to each other? Uh, let's see here. We've got chili for dinner some places. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's see what else. Um, I think they were all listening to your story. Uh, Budget Bushcraft says that they uh, do printing at uh, Home Depot so it can get us a discount so long as uh, we pay the shipping to get it to us on those calendars. So he's going to send us an email. Maybe we can set something up. We're always looking for some place to print. We actually have, oh, what, three color full duplex laser printers where we actually can do a lot of printing ourselves. However, it gets quite expensive quite expensive as you probably know those cartridges are whew. but um yeah if we're gonna do a photo calendar mm -hmm. i'll definitely be interested in that yeah. um so francis urban spirits vlogs wants to know what our scariest experience was though so our where where we got okay i, I just was talking about it on hsfl paranormal the one that scared the crap out of me was that Lizzie Borden EVP? It it didn't really scare me. I wasn't scared, like oh, scared, you know. He was he was scared because he had to sleep there that night. <laughs> yeah, it was just I was like on edge. You know, you guys in the paranormal, you know yeah. what I'm talking yeah. about. Where you get that feeling like the hair sticking up and something's telling you in the back of your head, get out, get out, don't be here, you shouldn't be here. You know what I'm talking about. I had it all night long there, but I was so tired. I got to a point where like I just don't care. But when I played that EVP back and I heard that cackle, I'm like, are you serious? And I couldn't listen to EVPs for months after that. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't like really a scary thing. It was just like uneasy for me. I can't think of any other place. I mean, Queen Mary, no, not really. Mm -mm. 
Stanley Hotel, no, not too much. No, unfortunately. Stagecoach Inn, that was fun. I mean, we that went. Once you get into that where you're communicating and you know you're communicating and you get that adrenaline rush, that's that, I, I can't explain that to somebody. It's an awesome experience. Once you get past that, oh, you know, like we don't have that. We got past that a long time ago. I don't even know where it was where we got past it and we kind of accepted it and now we're looking for more. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know where that, that took place. I, I really don't. I can't pinpoint that that period where we were at on an investigation was like this is awesome we need more and that's really what happens with paranormal investigators is you just get like i can't believe that just happened let's try to duplicate it or i need more experiences mm -hmm. i i don't know when that point was i think that it was at hillview when we first started taking it could people. be you know what you're exactly right that's down what in it one was. north that's when it was okay and it wasn't a scary experience too. Yeah. It was just one of those things where like, wow, this is this is interesting. Yes, it was one north at Hillview Manor. You're right. When that mm -hmm. flashlight, we were getting flashlight responses and yep. I'm like, Are you freaking kidding me? Mm -hmm. And it was now a lot of paranormal people will say, Oh yeah, that flashlight is fake. A lot of people will say, Oh yeah, K two meters don't work or K two but when you're using it and you're in that moment and you're getting an intelligent response off of that device, that's something totally different. Yeah. That's the same way with the Ouija board. If you're getting something that's kind of like they're using it to come through, that's what we experienced at that time at, at Hillview. Mm -hmm. And so it, we, we started with it at, in One North and that was like, oh, wow, this is really cool. It was one of our first really ghost hunting experiences anyway. I mean, mm -hmm. we'd been on ghost hunts or tours before, but this was one of our first times to actually hunt. And it was like, I think it was the first time we and took a group. Then it was. And then we left there and we went down to uh, Mary Virginia's room and we were singing nursery rhymes because she was an old woman who had kind of dementia and she was a very childlike person. And uh, she loves three blind mice. So yeah. literally, that still out on our channel. you know, the flashlight yeah. would come on when we would sing Three Blind Mice. And if we sang something else, it would it would go off. And if we, you know, sang it again, it would come on. And it was yeah. always for Three Blind so Mice. She asked about the scariest, the scariest. I know, but I, don't, I haven't, I haven't been, okay, I, I'll say this. My scariest basement. experience was the basement at um, the orphanage. The orphanage in Gettysburg. Not because, just this past. Right, trip, not this trip. Two thousand fifteen yes. trip. Uh, I have a fear of basements to start with because of some things from my childhood. <laughs> did we put that video out? Yeah, I don't. Think I don't, we don't did. think you did. However, um, that is hilarious. I have you this fear see that. of basements and my husband knows that I have a fear of basements. And so we had some equipment left running down in the basement while we went upstairs and did some investigating on the second level. This is a trail cam. And uh, when we were done, he's like, go downstairs and grab that for us, okay? You know, because he didn't want to get through the steps again. But he's like, just, Marian, just run down there and get that. And I'm like, what what <laughs> so yeah, i'm I like okay about her fear i'm like all right so i went down in the basement and i like creeped down the stairs you know I'm looking well let around. me play devil's advocate because i don't think like i'm like, somewhere. <laughs> okay so in 2015 when we went to gettysburg we act as a group our group went okay we rented a farmhouse we stayed in it we had a blast it was great but one of the things that we did to kind of treat ourselves remember i told you guys we did those Murder, mystery, Murder dinners. mystery dinners for a month, and we generated some profit. So we took those profit for the group, and we splurged on a Gettysburg trip. We rented a farmhouse, and we also rented the orphanage and Jenny Wade House to investigate private investigations. Right. So that night that we investigated the orphanage was paired up with the Jenny Wade House. Mm -hmm. So I was tired. Okay, you know, we were doing two different locations. Yeah, granted, they're right across the street, but it was like two, three o'clock in the morning. You know, I'm like, man, just go get the trip <laughs> so we could go. Okay, no, I'm just okay. defending myself with this conversation because I completely forgot that you were afraid of it. And I yeah. guess it didn't help matters that I continually laugh about the video. <laughs> Yeah, but anyhow, so I creeped down the stairs, you know, like looking around, you know, as I'm going down, it's still in the dark, you know, and um, 
I went over to where we had it. I had my flashlight. I went over to where we had the, the item. I went, I, I went to pick it up and I heard some noise, something get pushed or moved and thrown in the corner behind me over here and I'm like oh, okay and I grabbed everything I made a, I made some comment I grabbed the stuff and I ran up, up the, the stairs oh, okay up, up, I'm out of here so that's my most that's terrifying her scariest moment. and then um <laughs> uh, uh, same lines again the basement I I love Hillview Manor and we've done many events there and one of the events we did there was a Halloween party, and we literally had things going. We had all kinds of games that we were doing. We had Human Clue in the building where we, they had to go to different places uh, in the building to specific rooms to get clues and things like that. And we did all kinds of other stuff. And everything was going on in the chapel except for where they had to go out and get stuff in the building and, and things like that. So he and everybody else were in the chapel and they were doing, you know, game type things. And I was supposed to go out and put out all of these clues. So I went out and I went through the building, you know, in the dark by myself, you know, the just a flashlight, building. went Hillview through the whole building, three floors on one section. She put out everything. And I had one thing left to do and I had to put the clue in the basement. And I went to the basement door like to the uh to the stairwell i started going down the stairwell i went to this to the bottom of the stair i went to open the door to the actual basement itself and i couldn't go any further i just i was like hmm. uh-uh uh -uh. Nope. and i closed it i ran back upstairs and i went back to the i scurried over to the chapel and i'm like i need somebody anybody and so the one person came out. I'm like, they're like, what's the matter? I'm like, I just need somebody to go with me in the basement. I put everything else out by myself, but I can't go in the basement. Yeah. So those are my two scary moments. And they were both basements. But you, I don't there, think you've had, long I don't think you've question. had any real no. super scary. No. And there was some place you didn't that like. They, they, you know, went outside. And you, you, you that know. was a warehouse. Warehouse where I, warehouse I, canal. I, I that was my fault. I was provoking, well, pushing, you know, like I don't know what trip that was. I don't know if, if it was like maybe the second or third one. We had a group with us, we were down in the basement, and like nothing was happening. You, those of you guys have been on these investigations, you, you know, know what I'm you, talking about. Sometimes they don't you go, react and, on, yeah, on it's not on cue. cue, it's not all the time, it's whatever, and nothing's going on. And I'm hearing people squawking, like, wow, this is a waste of money, and blah blah blah, blah you know, all that. So I'm in the area at the warehouse where there's like off the chart claims and I'm up against the wall and I'm like, come on, show yourself, you know, that kind of stuff. These people came a long way, da, 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 da. And immediately I get this feeling like I need to vomit now. And I'm standing down there with 25 guests. I don't want to hurl in front of them. <laughs> so... I had to go outside and get some air. That was, that was, I pushed. I pushed. I, I should, oh, well, I know better now. I kind of knew better then, but now it's like, oh, I'm sorry, folks. <laughs> they don't want to come out and play tonight. But, yeah. Yeah. Any other questions? They're know. all, they're all talking about uh, spam. We got spam popsicles. We got... Spam, spam. And, spam and mac and cheese. That's Paulie's and, here. Yeah. Spam. Yeah. I love when you do those videos, man. <laughs> spam. Food. <laughs> Paulie, I have to tell you, back when we had that issues, you got me through it, man. Back when we had those issues with the losing our live stream, whatever freaking happened i don't even know but when you were putting out them videos with that alien thing man that like got me through it i was rolling ask her i yeah. play that thing over and over and we over did. gonna eat your brains <laughs> oh man that was so funny so funny and i needed it then yeah. i really needed it yeah. i just kept playing it i'm like this is this is hilarious yeah, it was it was it was good. I I really was thankful that you did that because he just I he watched it over tears. and over and over again. I was in tears when that went down. I'm like, 
man, we're never going to get over. Because if you don't, you know, if those of you guys out there, I, I, I'll be honest, I don't know your, your counts, your watch time and all that. But if you're trying to get over that hump, if you're not doing live streams, it's so hard to get the watch time. The 4,000 hours, that's what, you know, the live streams is what pushes you over. It's not the regular videos unless you've been out there for a while and have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. And even that, we had 200 and some videos out there. And still, it was the it was the lives. The live streams push you over. So, so Mystican89 is newbie. So, saying hello. hello. And Karen Summers has joined us. So, hello, hello, hello. Karen. hello. Nice to see you. I lived about 20 minutes from the Winchester Mansion there all the time that you're experiencing it. We haven't been to the Winchester That is one Mansion. of the ones we haven't been to. It's one of those things where we have to logistically figure out how to get there mm -hmm. because that is quite of a far Yeah, we uh, just looked thing. into how far it is from where we're going to be yeah. in November and it's too far. I mean, it's so much closer than Ohio, yeah. but it's still too far from where my conference is. To, to feasibly make it happen in the time span that I have available. Actually, I'm looking forward to this trip. Normally, I kind of like... Meh. He cringes when I, we have I to go west. I hate the traveling part. I really, I really hate that. Going through it. I mean, it's a whole day wasted. Getting there and a whole day getting back. But, you know, I'm looking forward to this because... Like, when we went to Chicago... The airport was like 45, 50 minutes away from... The hotel, the hotel, we had to, that long commute, mm -hmm. you know, but I'm looking forward to this trip because it's like the hotel's like right across from the airport. Yeah, like it land, says it's, boom. It, yeah, it says it's within walking distance, I so I don't know that, I mean, clearly we're not going to walk with our luggage yeah. in the middle of the night to anywhere, no matter where it's at, but um, it'll be a lot better for you. Yeah, I get, I get, I get stressed and I get. You know, I, I have, it's not diagnosed, but I know I have it, like social anxiety issues where, like, it just takes one little tiny little thing to set me off and then I got health problems and aches and pains and all that other stuff and I just get miserable. I just want to get to the hotel room and lay down for mm -hmm. about an hour and then I'm good to go mm -hmm. normally. Yeah, and when we went to Chicago, you literally uh, stayed in the hotel room all but one hour yeah, that was bad. It was not good. That was bad. You had a bad time. I was well, the escort. Well, one hour of the conference portion. You did come out a couple other times. Yeah. But. That was pretty bad. That Chicago trip, as far as health-wise on me, it yeah. was pretty bad. That I mean, bad I remember, one. like, going down to eat, and I was just, like, shaking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you had a bad trip that trip. So it was, I'm looking forward to you being much healthier yeah, here in I'm November. Yeah, I'm feeling better. Feeling better. Getting there. About 95%. I'm not 100 percent yet. No. I haven't had a bout in almost what three weeks, two weeks. So that's good. Back still kind of bothering me, but that's just old. It's like walking through the puzzle. I bet you that would just be awesome. We'll get there somehow, Some, someday. Yeah, someday we're gonna someday we'll get there. There's a couple places like logistically, like how one place the that Feliska we Axe love. House. Yeah, that. How it's are like, you going to be able to, yeah, yeah. for us, we it's like in the there, middle of nowhere. But there is a location that we, just out of a fluke, um, we got stuck on, on, our, honeymoon. on our honeymoon. Yeah. And I cannot figure out without taking the way we got there before and take a ferry is Ocracoke Island. Mm-hmm. That place is amazing. I it's right it on the outer tip of the Outer Banks. Mm -hmm. I hopefully they're, they're okay with the yeah. with the storms and stuff. But that's there's a place there called Teacher's Hole. That's where they captured Blackbeard, Blackbeard the pirate, mm -hmm. and it is gorgeous. And it was we just got stuck on that island on a fluke. There's like one hotel, and I'm sure there's bed and breakfast there. But there's a, a, a English cemetery there. There's 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 claims at the lighthouse. There's all kinds of the whole island. Yeah. Has stuff going on there, but I'd love to get back there. I just got to figure out logistically again how do you do it? Because well, we drove down the coast, and there's certain spots where you got to take a ferry mm -hmm. to to, yeah. to go. So. Yeah. 
Yeah, if you know where um, Cedar Island and um, yeah. Cape Hatteras. Cape Hatteras. It's right between Cedar yeah. Island so and Cape Hatteras. So you take Cape Hatteras to Ocracoke to Cedar mm -hmm. uh, if you're going south. Right. Yeah. And then to come in from the uh, <clears throat> heading east, there's like nothing but ferries to get there. There's no bridges. Budget Bushcraft, you have some awesome paranormal stuff going on there. I love hearing this. Got drums and flutes. Mm -hmm. Didn't hear it with the naked ear hole. At the Winchester? Is that what he's talking about? I, he was talking about Winchester before. I don't know if this one specifically does as well, but just that he's caught so much, that's awesome. Michelle says that she has some chronic pains as well. She understands. Um, yeah, it's yeah. sitting is my issue. Mm -hmm. And my job, I sit eight hours a day. <laughs> yeah. So, I, you know, in the morning it's okay. Well, most times in the morning it's okay. Unless I have issues, I slept wrong. Mm -hmm. But probably about 10 o'clock it starts to twinge and you, you see me like you see in my videos you see where i'm moving and stuff right sitting here on this hard chair is not not good and we did that interview earlier and i've been sitting here for a while oh he did so. hear that at winchester but i did take That's some cool. pills before today for before our live stream i did take some i took an aleve and i couldn't find the advil i gotta find the Advil. so you took some aleve took an aleve and it okay. does seem to, it takes the edge off yeah. So when you guys see me twitch and move around, that's what it is. It's actually, my back is killing me. <clears throat> it gets pretty bad. It goes down my neck. I feel right here like somebody punched me. This hand goes numb. You know, and it just aches. Aches to the point where I get like a knot right here. And I say, Marianne, jump on my back. Please rub it. Get rid of it. Yeah. I always get tension, like, pains here. Yeah. But you, you're, but mine, I know it's from tension. Yours is clearly other things. Yeah. yeah. Enough of that. Let's move on. <laughs> so Winchester House, that's cool. Uh, all right, so you paranormal folks out there, you tell us, what is your favorite place? Or what's the favorite, what's your favorite location that you've been to? Love to hear it. Oh, well, we're waiting on that. Polynesian vlogger says that he's a licensed uh, massage therapist. So uh, I when, I, you, when we head over to his place, he'll give you a massage. Uh, I'll tell you what. I had this really bad two years ago mm -hmm. with the pain in the arm and stuff. And I was going to a chiropractor. Which I have to get back to a chiropractor anyways for this. Probably get some relief. But um, he sent me the physical therapy. And I, three weeks of just torture. I'm going through all these exercises. And on the third week they finally decided to do a deep tissue massage. And it relieved it. Everything kind of like went away. I had like two or three of those. Oh man, if you guys have never had one of those, they hurt so bad. And you're feel bruised the next day, but the day after that, you feel wonderful. But she was just, just pushing. Is this hurt? Yeah, it does. Good, bam! And she's a torture. Just put it, in and then you just feel it. Just ah, oh, release. There was like four or five different places back there. It was just horrible, horrible. I told yep, her, I said, you push mama. any harder, I'm going to pick you up. There was a little girl that was doing it, but she was, I said, I'm going to pick you up and throw you out the window. Sound of gunshots by the Benton. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. Paranormal Mama says it sounds like a nerve problem, and Michelle yeah, wants to know if you problem. can get a more comfy chair. So, he has a really super comfy chair at work, and it actually doesn't help either. Yeah. So, he's got, he, he's got a harder one here, he's got a softer one at work, and Neither one of them seems to help. No, just sitting in this position, it's actually putting pressure. It is a nerve. It's a pinch nerve. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and if you guys have ever dealt with a pinch nerve, they take forever to heal and go back the way they were. And 
it sucks but I'm sorry about the background noise but you know in our neighborhood 24 7 somebody's out there doing something be pouring down rain and they're out cutting the grass so Michelle that sounds like it's very painful and I I'm air hug yeah three bulging discs yeah, that doesn't that would just good. be horrible and then that on top of fibromyalgia and carpal tunnel oh, she needs she needs a big hug but not one that we hurt her yeah you know a gentle yeah gentle gentle, gentle touch all right so pspr says buffalo central terminal madison seminary that was fun mm -hmm. we had fun that night with you guys in dunkirk, dunkirk lighthouse, lighthouse. Man, I wanted this past summer to come up and do the Dunkirk know. Lighthouse with you. We got to do it someday. We've been to the Dunkirk Lighthouse. I keep Lighthouse, saying we got to get together. Got to get but together. we I, didn't I don't investigate feel it. We're gonna it. get together. Yeah, we've been to Dunkirk Lighthouse, yeah. but we have not investigated. I think I shared it. that with you, PSPR. Having it, my sister, my sister's husband is from Dunkirk, mm -hmm. and they had, they had their, their we took, wedding took reception. Their, well, we went and took their wedding pictures at the lighthouse, mm -hmm. and then went inside and toured it and. That was that was before paranormal life, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Aww. She used to be a veterinary technician in a farm. Budget Book technician. Press says this is a Michael F. Jr. stream. Yeah, today. You it know pretty what? Much it is. pretty much is because <laughs> I didn't uh, prepare. I we had a we had a HSFL guest who wasn't able paranormal to be here. was supposed to come on today mm -hmm. so i just said oh okay because last week we had pusha studios on to tell their paranormal story hsfl paranormal we were going to go on his show which we did earlier and then he was going to come on our show so mm -hmm. i didn't prepare anything yes. and then he had to go to work last so. night he uh, you know i'm like i sent him a message like we're still on for tomorrow and everything oh yeah 2 p.m i'm like and you're coming on our show oh i forgot to tell you i gotta work and i'm like uh what am i gonna do so do i stay up all night and actually i was asking on a live stream what you guys want to do do i stay up all night and prepare something and i'm working on stuff those Bonnie's of you who go her. on michael's show you know i'm working on stuff for him um you know what am i going to do or do we just go on and talk to you guys because this is fun i like talking to you guys answering your questions hearing your stories this is fun because normally on these shows on our saturday show like if we do the trivia or if we do something like that that's like a whole day of prep mm -hmm. so Polly says that he will come on next time i said next week's at hillview so maybe the week after he said no problem he'd love to do you want to do definitely the week after poli definitely if you want to definitely we'll do it so the 29th the 29th we put you in the book polynesian blogger comes on to tell his paranormal story there'll be five million people <laughs> swarming our live stream all right definitely says definitely all there right there you go folks poly on the 29th Yay! We'll try that. We'll try to have some spam. Oh, wait. It doesn't go through the computer. We can sit here and eat spam <laughs> while he's talking. What was that? <laughs> spam and chocolate chip cookies. There we go. <laughs> Pauline Moore. Michael Ferrer Jr. Clint Moore. Who's your back? Demonic one. Bad back. Oh, that's the that's your uh, collab meetup, man. I wish would that would be that would be a blast. <laughs> How dare you <laughs> eat spam without him? <laughs> I don't know that I've actually ever had spam. You would like spam. Why do you think I would like it? Okay. Everybody makes fun of it, Poly except for Polynesian vlogger. Poly tell well, he's Hawaiian. I think that's one of their food groups. Is spam, right? Spam goes. He did a video. He did a video where they were at the, they were in the grocery store, and he knows like all the flavors. Well, this one's missing. This one's missing. He knows all the flavors, but he circled around in that thing, and there was like an end cap full of spam. Hmm. But uh, I forget what I was gonna say. It kind of tastes like like if you fry it, it tastes like fried bologna, right? Bologna really? Bologna? I think it does. I think I love like fried it. bologna. You like fried bologna? I'm gonna have to try it. I don't like hot dogs, but I like fried bologna. You know who loves Spam? No. 
my dad. Really? It, it's some military thing, hmm. something in the military. Hmm. He says it's true. See? Maybe we'll have to try it. I Maybe like we'll try it on the 29th. <laughs> my previous people in my life couldn't stand it. They didn't like fried bologna either. And I'm like, eh, whatever, you're missing out. But. Okay. All right. What do you think? I was having fun. Oh, you were having fun? Okay. Got 17 still watching. How many thumbs up we got? 33. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. So, folks, this is our 25th show. Our 25th Saturday show. I know it would probably it would probably go up if we did them more than weekly. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just, it's so hard with our schedule, mm-hmm. the way it is, to do that. Our, um... Our shows that we did the Gettysburg week, Mm -hmm. towards the end we were starting to get the numbers, Mm -hmm. people coming in and watching. Mm -hmm. Once I figured out how to do the notifications, (laughs) which I don't know how we're going to do next week. Oh, crap. What? Well, I don't know how I'm going to set it up and then be able to connect to it. I think i got to set it up. Oh, PSPR, how did we do that? Man, I can't remember. How did we set yours up? We went and set it up through the app, right? And scheduled it. There's got to be that's got to be the way yeah, you do it. Cuz I'll probably do it on the phone next week. I don't want to take all the equipment. We got we're taking enough stuff. So all um, right. Well, Teresa Gregory has joined us. She says she's been listening for a while, but she's been doing some chores while she was was listening. Uh, she's from uh, Patty and the G team from the stream earlier today. So, well, hello, thank hello, you for hello. joining us. And I apologize for being so boring. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna put this up here again. If you haven't entered to win it, yeah, that's you only got till Thursday. Basically, right. until Thursday. Uh, and Karen Summers is headed off to bed, so thank you very much for joining us, and we'll see you around next time. There you go. If you haven't entered to win it, and I don't know why, that's not full screen. There we go. Bam. That's what you got to do. Subscribe to our channel. If you're not a certified parapet, Subscribe to the channel, hit that notification, take a screenshot, and email it to panicdvideos at gmail.com with the subject, hashtag pick me. You have till Thursday. You have till Thursday for the big giveaway. That's We're great. not going to have one uh, next Saturday because we'll be traveling. Mm-hmm. So, um, But we're giving enough away on Friday. Yeah, we're giving enough away. <laughs> I did say every week we would give do something, but no, I don't get to enter budget bushcraft. <laughs> so I don't get to enter. No, I don't. No. <laughs> Not even if I pretended I was Lizzie. We have so many. <laughs> we have so many entrants. We're gonna figure out how to do it because it won't all fit in that. Digga 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 digga. We're gonna have to figure out how to do it. We got some poker chips, right? And get the tumbler, maybe. Yeah. The little tumbler, put people's names on their chips, and okay, we could do that. You help me do that, yes. Yeah. We could show them that their names in the tumbler. Yeah, sure. I don't know if you guys have ever heard me made a comment on other streams enough, but Marianne is basically the talent behind Panic D videos. I don't, I don't really do much. <laughs> she does do the history, though. Yeah, I have to give her props for that. She writes it. Records the narration and says, here you go. And I take it from there. But thank you for that. I appreciate that. <laughs> so the history, and if she does write and record that herself, I showed her how to do the recording. And mm-hmm. It's been a great help. So the next thing I needed her to do is to teach her how to comment on our videos as Panic D videos instead of Mary Ann Donnelly. And help me out with that a little bit. Because I'm, I think I'm already two days behind. Probably Again. are. You probably are. I was uh, responding back on the the recipe video one as me, <laughs> not as Panic D. Sorry. We actually 
have a tumbler. We actually have, we have two, two of them. We got a big one and we got a little one that we could put. Take some uh, masking tape, put people's names on poker chips, put in a tumbler and reach in, draw names out. Kind of like a hat, but it's a tumbler. Might as well use it. <laughs> yeah, we have some. Uh, so while we we're wrapping up, Budget Bushcraft sitting here oh. saying that he's sent this thing in twice. Oh, so you're gonna you're gonna make his now? Teresa Gregory, by the way, uh, said that uh, there's a shared basement love between the ladies here. <laughs> so she must have some basement fears as well. So I don't know if this is gonna crash the stream or not. Oh. We'll see. If it crashes the stream, we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> yeah, it's not even open up a folder. Okay, so let's not do that then. Oh, actually, you have open. two open folders. That's why. All right, so it looks like he's going to be making a pair of peeps certificate on the fly. That's right. Let's see. Here we go. Let's see if we could do this without crashing the stream. <laughs> Good luck with that. Do you have the, just a blank I'm one? trying to find the template. Hmm. Where's the template? Oh, there it is. Let's see. The making of a parapeep certificate. Let's see if it crashes Ooh. the stream. It's thinking. It's thinking. It's thinking. <laughs> Got a lot going on on this computer right now. All right, here we go. B U D G E T space B U S H K capital. Okay, see. Capital K. Oh, capital K. Yes. K -R, R A F T. There we go. Fun. Oh, save optimized. As so we're gonna go back to libraries. We're gonna go back to our Dropbox. We're gonna become Parapeeps certificates. <laughs> Create a folder, call this September. Boom. So now I gotta email it to you. So you can expect this in your email momentarily, right? I hate the new Gmail, by the way. You Why do? do you have to show that stupid Little envelope opening? Yeah. It's excitement. It's exciting. It's going, here comes your mail. It's opening up. <laughs> oh, I don't have to open up. That sounds like a wonderful idea. Yeah. Let's see. Budget Bushcraft. And he sent it in twice. Let's see. Budget Bushcraft. Why don't you search mail? Yeah, I could do that. Yeah. Search mail. Budget. Budget. Budget Outdoors. Mm -mm. Right here. Budget, Budget Bushcraft. Bushcraft. Budget Bushcraft just uploaded a video. Ask him, let's see, that's a notification. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's fun. He's uh, looking. I typed it wrong again. He's looking. He's looking. He's looking for the special email. I'm assuming that's him. Yep. Okay. There you go. All right. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. He's attaching it. <laughs> the anticipation. I know. Boom. Go here. Go there here. Go. There it is. Oh. 
Oh, it's attaching. Oh, oh, it's oh, thinking. Oh, oh. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Boom. Sent. <laughs> Let's see if I got budget on Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> he sent him your, uh, his email, by the way. I love, I love it. I did the same thing with the Gmail at the end earlier, and I had to fix it. I did the exact same thing earlier today, Budget Bushcraft. It's coming. How am I not following him on Twitter? I don't know, but he is now. He said he got it. <laughs> I'm tweeting it out. It's official. So Teresa Gregory in the meantime says that she a fear of spiders added to a spider infested basement that included a slamming basement door and one tiny light at the stairs and zero windows. Great time doing laundry down there. I can only imagine. That's yeah. We when I was a, a small child, my sister she knew that I had a fear of basements from these recurring nightmares that I had. And so we would go downstairs to wash our hair. And um, she would hide down in the basement while I was washing my hair. And then she would come out and scare me. And then, uh, yeah, it was, it was just mean. But she did it. <laughs> Sisterly love, right? <laughs> There you go, buddy. Woo. Knock that off. It's my official. List. There we go. You said he got the email? Yeah, he did. Email and tweeted. Said his phone is blowing up. Boom. <laughs> so you got a Twitter, you got an email. There you go. We can cross that one off the list. I'll, pro you'll, I'll probably, probably do, do it, it again. again. <laughs> you'll probably get a second one. You'll be going, oh man, that guy's old. He don't remember. Luckily, he knows how to find his way out of the house to go to work in the morning. I won't let you send it twice. Okay. I'll, I'll try to be there when you send it out the next batch. Okay. <laughs> well, folks, I think we're going to wrap it up for this evening. we got to go have some dinner. Yes. We're and having I ribs tonight. I heard somebody was having chili. We're having ribs. I smell them. Do you? I smell them. I would like to personally thank each and every one of you. Thank you, 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 thank you for coming in and having some fun with us today with not having a topic. Yes, I think you guys did a wonderful job tonight. Yes, so show 26 yes. will be live from Hillview Hill Manor. Manor. Show 27, we're going to have Polynesian, Polynesian vlogger on for some spam and chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> and he's going to share his paranormal story. Yes. <laughs> we can't wait to hear. Yes. I want to hear about the book. Yes. That'd be I awesome. Hear about his book. Yes. Make sure you have a copy to show off. Polynesian vlogger, make sure that night that you put on an adult diaper because I'll probably have <laughs> one. We are going to be laughing all <laughs> night long. It's going to be a blast. <laughs> we may have to Fearful. switch sides so I could Yeah, so you out. could go to the bathroom and change your diaper. <laughs> yes. <sighs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Love you guys. Yes, thank, thank you, you. Peeves. You're wonderful. We love you, love you, love you. Thank you very much. Yes. Until next time. Thanks for watching. And happy hunting. If you'd like to see more videos from Pandy videos in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button and smash that bell for notifications. Also, help support the channel by sharing this video with your friends and family and anyone else who might be interested in the paranormal. Thanks for watching and happy hunting. <laughs>